Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're testing out three different games. Black Myth Wukong, Alan Wake 2 and Cyberpunk 2077. I wanted to test out Ray Reconstruction enabled and disabled and to see if it is actually usable in a game that doesn't have Ray Reconstruction like Black Myth Wukong. Or at least in the benchmark tool there's no Ray Reconstruction. I hope YouTube doesn't compress the video too much. I hope. Um, but we're testing it in 4K, 4040p and 1080p. So everybody has this resolution. So everything will be preset and performance against preset K quality. Or with ray reconstruction enabled that would be preset D quality with ray reconstruction. Um, with the 4040p and 1080p test I won't be showing the whole benchmark don't worry but just for the intro so I can explain a little bit what I'm doing. Also I changed the scenery in cyberpunk because I heard a lot of people that the scenes were I was in. Um, that they didn't like it for some reason. They say there's more in the game so I chose another scene. And this scene was recommended a lot on Reddit. So yeah, I went to that scene and I was testing it there because there was a lot of neon. So yeah, I hope that that is good then. I mean, it is the night city, so yeah. So yeah, in uh, preset K quality versus preset M performance in Black Mid Wukong. Uh, I enabled also some frame generation because I don't play this game at 30 FPS. Like any other game, I won't play it if it is below 60 FPS. So that's why I enabled frame generation to have like a realistic scenario. And I suggest preset and performance. You get like a, a lot more FPS, it looks sharper and it feels better. So yeah. Here you see a quick uh, score overlay in the end. Every settings are the same. We just get a lot more FPS. In the 1440p test, I saw it was actually a bit sharper. And again, I hope YouTube doesn't compress it that much that you could not see the differences anymore. In the game, I didn't see a huge amount of sharpness in the preset and performance. But it looked a little bit better than K quality, at least in my opinion. And specifically the spikes from the leaves with the pine trees or whatever the trees is called. I don't know the English word for it. So yeah, here again, if you play at 4040p, I would definitely try out preset and performance. Because not every path tracing game has ray reconstruction. So I heard a lot, yeah, but what about ray reconstruction uh, with path tracing games? Not all of them have it. And this is 1080p. Honestly, I couldn't find the difference. I was playing the game, the benchmark, and I could really not find a difference. The reason why I don't have the gameplay is because I bought the game a while ago. And I didn't like the visuals at all, honestly. I know a lot of people say that this is like a peak visuals but if you turn off anti-aliasing you see it is just yeah not that great so i don't support that so i refunded the game they just expect us to slap over taa or like dlss or fsr and that it will fix their lazy dev work and yeah i i don't support that anymore we are in 2026 now i think they could do better but yeah, that's my opinion. Here's Cyberpunk with the new scenes, a lot of neon. 
and yeah i didn't see a huge difference this is at 4k so this is preset d quality with ray reconstruction enabled you see the lights on this neon tree it is shimmering a bit more or you see more that it is like a uh, 3d hologram effect and this is in 1440p again in the market stalls walking i couldn't find the difference but here you can actually see with the quality mode ray reconstruction the quality is worse because it is actually shimmering worse some people say that the preset k is shimmering worse but i have played this game so much and preset d with ray reconstruction really isn't everything i even made a dedicated video to show the differences of ray reconstruction in different scenes but yeah look at here now there are more leaves and more of the tree like flickering around like yeah i prefer preset m in this scene at least and you see more in the tree you see more leaves like glitching bugging and this is ellen wake 2 preset d quality ray reconstruction enabled versus preset m performance ray reconstruction disabled in the m all the leaves were a bit sharper but not over sharpened and the hair in my opinion it looks the same also here i have frame generation enabled because at least at the 4k because i don't play at 30 fps i disabled it at 40 40p because it got above 60 fps and then yeah i would still enable it but for the sake of this test 60 fps is okay uh, here again in 4040p i suggest preset and performance like a ray reconstruction isn't everything i know some people is gonna be angry about that but yeah ray reconstruction isn't a magical tool that fixes everything although i can't wait until ray reconstruction 4.5 will release so we can test that because i really think that will be a huge improvement over the current ray reconstruction so yeah, even at 1080p in this game, I would recommend preset M performance over preset D quality with ray reconstruction enabled. So yeah, um, the general conclusion for me is, at least in these three games, I suggest preset M performance and make sure that sharpness slider inside of the game is turned down because then you'll see the best results. Some people say it's over sharpening the game and half of those games is that the sharper is still up from the previous settings that you played on. And I heard a lot of people saying uh, Arc Raiders, that I should test Arc Raiders. I like the idea of the game of Arc Raiders. I just don't want it i bought it i tested it and if you turn off any aliasing for the for the people who have our graders just turn on off any form of uh, anti-aliasing and upscaling and see how bad the game looks in the foliage like all the grass and stuff like it is one shimmering mess so the devs did a great job making this game but I don't want to support anymore that they just bring a game out like this and then expect that TAA will fix everything because it really doesn't. So in that game, if you use preset M, yeah, it, it will look way worse than preset K. So in that game, I suggest preset K because that fixes it somewhat. The idea of the game is fun. But uh, yeah, at some point, we should say to the devs like, no more like make it look good without needing to have like anti-aliasing in it or upscaling or anything so yeah if you guys like the video please subscribe to the channel put a like put a comment and i will see you guys in the next one bye